it's Nikki and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new and in today's video as you can tell by the title we are going to be reviewing the Morphe Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation. Um, this is highly anticipated. Um, I think I'm one of the people who's like really excited to try it so I don't even want to waste any time on talking about it too too much so uh, let's just get straight into this review. I'm first gonna go over some of the key details and just claims of this foundation. So some of the key features of this foundation include hyaluronic acid, um, vitamin E, pore blurring pigment to diffuse the look of imperfection, imperfections. I'll be, I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> um, natural buildable coverage, which I, I love something that is buildable. I prefer like a full coverage, but I do see that this is medium to full coverage. So it's really buildable. I like that. I like the um, versatility of it. Long wearing, sweat proof and transfer proof. Very big key, especially now in the world that we live in, wearing masks all the time. We don't want to take off our mask when we come home and see our entire face on the mask. That's not the point. <laughs> um, free of oils, fragrances, and parabens. Perfect that it's free of fragrances. You know, you don't want to break out, have a reaction or anything. Um, Lux formula crafted in Italy. We love that. So here I have the shade Filter Tan 17. It should be good because I, I did open it. I have seen the package in person. It's a really nice packaging. It's like frosted. It's pretty, it's really pretty. Um, also, when you purchase this from Ulta Beauty's website or in store, they do give you a free brush. It's the Morphe E63. So today we'll be trying that out as well. Um, this isn't my typical foundation brush that I would apply foundation with, but Morphe said, give it to the girls for free to try with the foundation. So I assume it's supposed to work. Now, we're gonna find that out today. So of course, like every review, especially a skin review, I'm going to prep my skin how I normally would. So first, I'm going to take my Cetaphil Daily Facial Moisturizer with SPF 15, and I'm gonna apply that all over my skin. Next, I'm going to take my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I just stocked up on a new one, so I am opening it. Absolutely love this, and with the claims of this foundation, I feel like this primer should go well with it, but we'll see, of course. I'm gonna take some on my middle finger. Kinda just press it into the skin, like so. Okay, so now the skin is prepped how I would normally prep it, and now it's time for the foundation. Seeing it, I'm not too sure. It looks a little light. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I believe this shade has neutral undertones. Yeah, it's tan with neutral undertones, but we'll see. I'm going to shake it because I'm a little scared. This is what it looks like. This is the pump. Perfect, like, finger size. So I'm going to just... I did a few pumps. Okay, so this is what it looks like pretty good match. So I'm going to take the brush that Morphe has decided to promote with this foundation and we're going to go ahead and use that. So I'm just going to take it on the brush and kind of apply. Wow, this brush leaves like no streaks. Okay. It feels like a paintbrush, like makeup brushes feel like a paintbrush. But this is going on so nice. Oh my gosh, this brush is leaving no streaks whatsoever. Okay. Like, I pat just because that's habit, because of like fixing streaks in general with a brush. But um, I don't need to do that. This is absolutely beautiful. First thoughts on the foundation, immediately when I applied it onto my face, I saw a blur. I don't know how to explain it. I was like, okay. I feel like on camera, my face looks a little pale. I think it's the lighting. I'm gonna turn it down a bit. Cause it's not really how it looks. Yeah, that's a little better, but in person, it doesn't look pale or anything on my skin. It actually looks quite like my skin tone. So, but um, this is absolutely stunning. I like this so far. It definitely is medium to full coverage, but um, it's the initial, you know, layer 
has covered what I needed it to and going over it with a little bit of a second, you know, layer or squirt from the bottle has just perfected it even more. I'm really, really liking it so far. But of course, one of the big tests too is going to see how this foundation reacts with my other products that I use every single day that you see here in my videos. So I'm just gonna run through that quickly. I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Camo Concealer in shade Medium Sand. This looks so good. Like, I, you could literally, hold on. <laughs> because it, like, it almost set itself it doesn't look cakey it doesn't look oily and also like i feel like i could literally walk out and it just looks like my skin this is pretty this is really pretty so far so i'm just gonna do the concealer how i normally would and i think i'm gonna stick with the brush what is it the e it's the e63 i'm gonna stick with the brush for the skin to kind of see how it um, works with other products as well, but so far I'm really loving it. This was a really really nice brush to launch with this Like it literally has the perfect shape to fit right underneath your eye and just blend that out so quickly and nicely and Most importantly for me this brush leaves no streaks behind I'm honestly shocked. I've honestly I bear I use morphe brushes, but I've never really used it like I have like a big flat one it's like the jh something um but like i never got too too into the brushes i just have like the jaclyn hill brush collection from them for the eyes and for the face but this is absolutely great like this is literally leaving no streaks you guys i this is leaving no streaks like whatsoever no matter which direction i'm tapping there's no streak like no matter where there's no streak, even if I rub, it literally like blends the product so nicely into my skin. This is amazing. This is exciting. Okay. Go off Morphe. And this brush is so pleasant. It's super soft and also there's no like brush flakes whatever brush ha brush hairs <laughs> there's no brush hairs on my face um i do find that in some of my brushes like there are brush hairs left on my face which eh, i'm kind of used to at this point i'm like all right bro i'll just wipe you away but of course i prefer not to and like this is giving me like girl don't worry like this is great this is great now i'm just gonna go in with my bronzer as per normal as per use I'm gonna take a little bit of my uh, Makeup Revolution Banana Light Setting Powder and just set right under the eye to prevent like creasing and such. With the Sonia Kashuk brush, and I absolutely love this brush for that because it just gives a nice precise application and it also helps smooth out the area that I'm setting. So 10 out of 10, totally would recommend. Guys, I love the way my, my skin looks like flawless what no like i'm such a sucker for good complexion products like i absolutely love complexion um because if my complexion doesn't look good then like you know i love complexion products and like this is a product that i'm absolutely loving right now so okay guys so i am fully finished with the face i decided to do something with the eyes like with brown because you know brown 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 like, yeah um but so i'm going to give you guys my final thoughts on the morphe filter effect soft focus foundation so my final thoughts on this foundation is that i absolutely love it it goes on super nicely it really does blur and it provides nice coverage and it doesn't look cakey my skin actually looks very very flawless and i'm honestly obsessed it worked well with the products that i wear every single day literally i don't switch it up which i should 
Um, but what works, works. And so when I find a foundation or another product in my complexion routine that I can fit and that works with it, it's a win. And this is one of those products. The shade match was good as well. So this is one of those products. Now the brush, I absolutely love. Left no streaks on my skin. You guys saw I was applying. You know, I didn't go in with a beauty sponge or beauty blender and have to blend it out. It's just the way the bristles are on the brush and, and the angle of the brush, it leaves no streaks. I, I, I you can't, like, it's, it's not me, it's them, they did it, you feel me? Like, I, I, I'm just here, you know, using the product, so... I absolutely love it. I think that this was a great launch. I loved seeing makeup Shayla as the face for this launch as well. She looks stunning in the campaign photos and I do like this. So I think that if you really want to, I would give it a try. Yeah, so I absolutely love this foundation. You guys let me know down below if you guys have tried it and if you guys like it or not. And why or why not? Everybody has different types of skin and different preferences. So let me know down below. But for my skin, I have combination skin um, or normal, yeah, I have combination skin. So for, for my combination skin, I absolutely adore this product and I'm gonna use it, but like not too much because like I don't wanna run out because like, it's so good. But this was a great thing. I also love the packaging, how sleek it looks. It's, it's gorgeous. So you guys let me know down below what you think. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below and subscribe to my channel for more. Love doing reviews. I love, you know, discovering new makeup, what I like, what I don't like. So let me know of any products that you guys think that I should try down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.